Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Abel Greg and Toma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. Okay. Uh, this is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number. You can call me on any of these numbers. Okay. We've covered a very wide range of design using numerous softwares. I've covered up to 25 different softwares on our YouTube channel. Just go down below the description of this video. You find the link to that channel. Visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy. Okay. Today I'm going to be showing you actually how to import a steel cross section uh, in Prota Structure uh 2021 okay and we'll show you how to import that truss uh the steel truss okay uh the cross section of that steel truss um so let's go to new project uh click on bs8110 uh i'll name this truss and i click on okay So uh, I have a drawing here which I actually did. Uh, uh, I just actually um, drafted this quickly. Uh, I can do something uh, very similar to this. Um, let me check the measurement here. I have three, three, five, two, eight. I'm going to do something uh, very much uh, similar to this uh, quickly, just to demonstrate um, how your drawing should look like. Okay, sorry. Let me take it back. Uh, so it has to be in lines. So I will type 33528. 33528. So let me confirm if that is the measurement here. 33528. Good. Uh, I'll use a line here. So let's say we have like an offset here. Let's say for like our fissure. So please pardon me. Uh, I'm just I'm just trying to use this to demonstrate. So uh, if you're giving a cross section by uh, an architect, uh, you don't need to start modeling it uh, on a proto structure. Because uh, sometimes the cross section may look a bit more uh, complex, uh, and then uh, modeling it in total structure might be actually very, 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 very challenging. Okay, so you can actually import the cross section. Uh, that is, you can do, you can draft it on your AutoCAD, then uh, import the drawing into uh, your total structure. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm going to use like an app here. Sorry, I'm not just I'm not going to bother much about the the uh, what do you call it the radius, okay? So let's say I have a straight line like this. I'll set this five five eight eight. So if you divide this in your calculator, uh, this is exactly how you're going to have it. Okay, so let me quickly uh, trim this. Take this off. Okay, this is what I have. Um, your drawing has to be in lines and then uh, make sure it's actually not a block. Okay, it has to be lines or else the software will not recognize it. Uh, so uh, I'm going, instead of using this, uh, I'm just 
don't trace it with with lines so but i actually stand to be corrected i don't know if you have any other better way that uh, you must have uh, um, probably uh, experienced uh, or a better way to actually import your drawing better from my little uh, research this is actually what I have uh, discovered or the best way to actually import this drawing okay so you can see uh, this is how it is so you can drop it in your in the comments below if there's a better way to actually do this okay because uh, I discovered you can it only recognizes uh, lines okay so so let's just assume our trust pattern is actually this way okay so there are other complicated uh, other complex uh, uh, patterns okay uh, that uh, you know the protein structure itself has uh, uh some templates already that you can like pattern types that you can actually make use of already uh in in the software itself but there are some other patterns that uh, are a bit more complex uh, to achieve in proto structure so uh it's, it's actually very much advisable to uh and it's going to be easier and faster for you to actually draft it in your autocad environment okay so if that is correct um Right now, I'm going to import this drawing into my process structure. Okay, so um, here now. So let me confirm how many do I have here? I have one here, two here, three here, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use orthogonal modeling. Okay, so I have. Five five eight eight times seven. Five five eight eight times seven. Sorry, I'm going to just uh, use uh, the same one, the same numbers in all the directions. Okay, just to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I have to take one out of this. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Um, I'll insert my column. Uh, column. Um, I'm just going to insert whatever the cross section is giving me there. Okay. I just want to make this video as brief as possible. So I have 3D physical here. I'll come to my view here. Uh, tile, vertical, good. All right, here. I'll come back to my model. I'll click on truss. Click here. Click here. So it has actually popped out this for me. Um, <clears throat> The next thing here I will do is just to click on import from DXF. So if I click on import from DXF, uh, the name of this file is cross cross section DXF. So I'm going to close this. Uh, save changes to yes. Uh, DXF27. Save. Yes. No. So that is closed. So I'll click here and I click on open. Now you can see um, our cross section has actually popped up here. Uh, the one we just imported, the one I draft from the AutoCAD environment. So I'm going to pick a start point and I'll pick an end point. Okay. And wherever I'm clicking at, that is actually where my support is actually going to be like, uh, be uh, on. So uh, if I click here now, I'll click here. So I'm going to have a support here and also another uh, so, okay, so this is just going to be a, a fascia, okay? Uh, so if that is correct, I click on import. So uh, come in here now. 
you can see here if you look at this chord types we have top chord bottom chord vertical chord diagonal chord horizontal and general so you can see all of uh, these are actually on that general so i have to assign all of this uh, place them in their right uh, direction so i'll select all of this that are at the top and take them to my top chord so i'll right click and i'll click on set as top chord okay now you can see the change it has taken this color it's more like a layer uh, bottom chord i'll click on the bottom and i'll right click and i'll set as bottom uh, vertical chord you can see vertical is also here uh, this is just like a, 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 a okay so i'll click on all of this which are vertical uh, click click sorry click 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 this and then this and i'll right click set as vertical chord <clears throat> so uh the diagonal i click 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 here click this click this and also click this and i'll right click and i'll set as diagonal if you already love what you're seeing please why not like this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like these on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay um, we have covered structural designs and detailings, mechanical and electrical surface drawings, road designs, water designs, okay? All are very much available on our YouTube channel. Just go down below the description of this video, you find the link to that channel, okay? So after this, um, I'm just going to click on OK. On the next uh, episode, I'm going to be showing you on the next video coming. I'll be showing you how you can actually play around with these tools, okay? Editing an existing template, okay? So uh, I'm going to click on OK. So you can see uh, it has actually been inserted there where I actually want it to be. So uh, I think Prota Structure 2021 is actually very great. Uh, this this software I find it very very interesting. Okay, uh, the steel aspect of this software is, is 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 wonderful. Okay, you can see what we have here. So this is the essence of uh, this particular video. Uh, if you love what you're seeing, please click on the red button down below, written subscribe, and you have subscribed already. Okay, so make sure that you stay safe and make sure that you stay blessed.